Time to walk the dinosaur back into freedom. I cannot believe I made an Ice Age reference there, because I'm not really a fan of that series, of that movie series in general. And more tanks. They must be really, really pissed that you took their freaking dinosaur off them. Even though it wasn't even theirs in the first place, it's like, no, you're not allowed to steal off stuff that we've stolen off people. It's like, really? So, this is your standard criminal setup. You got guys, you got pink mohawked Fonzies with freaking rocket launchers. You've got bipedal, you got bipedal intelligence enhanced dogs that shoot guns. And then just the random multi mohawked douchebags that just drive and just beat people up and perform shenanigans. Uh, I have a milk. I need to use said milk. Oh god. Oh god. Yay! Killing the tank got me some got me a level up. Thirty-one wait. If I had that uh experience if I had that stat point item it'd be nice because then I could bounce them both out at 33 at the next level, but it doesn't really matter to me because nah, don't I don't really care. Getting a bunch of miso soups, which is I mean I'm not complaining, I mean they're good for healing up some HP, but man. Uh are there any enemies in this direction? No, this is Hercules joint. As a matter of fact, I think there might be something in here. Let me have a look. Uh, go in that direction. Yep, there's a chest right there. And it's one of the Hercule exhibits. I kind of figured there'd be something in here. Nice to know, I guess. Plus, those enemies are going to respawn, which means I can kill them and get another level up. Although, I would kind of... Uh, yeah, I'd kind of preferred to use all my energy against the tank. Die. Ooh, my, whoa, what's with the lag? Sweet, got that level up. Okay, so we're all set in that, in that regard. Oh god. Yeah, they're just coming at, they're just coming at me from everywhere, but they're not doing any damage, so that's pretty decent. That's just a testament to my training. And, yeah, with pointless yeah, pointless grinding aside, we can actually get onto the plot. So yeah. Yeah, she kind of sticks towards her own opinion and doesn't really get swayed that easily. She doesn't eh. Nah. You call it a special case of what in the world? My god, his parents are shadows. That's hilarious. Huge is an understatement. I mean, if I call those huge guys an understatement, it's like, my god. Oh! Well, looks like someone's screwed. So yeah, now that his se now that his secret's out, he's got to go and compete in a stupid tournament. Yeah. Well, that's just gonna suck, isn't it? Because you know, Gohan only needs to punch her once, and that's it. She dead. Oh god, yeah, that's even scarier. Because okay, I was not supposed to save there, but I guess I'm just a moron like that. Now, where did he come from? Little credit saved. Credit? What, they actually have a credit system up in the Deadland? I mean, I'm not complaining. I mean, Goku's bloody awesome source, so the fact that he's coming back is just epic. So, yeah. Time to go and tell a bunch of people. So, the purple dots mark, like, areas... Where, where I'd have to go to tell people. Well, where areas areas where people are living in which which would love to know about Goku's return. 
So, I'm going to stop by and see Douchebag. Too bad he can't come back permanently. Hey, look, it's Trunks. He's... See, you got to... See, yeah. We'll be taking control of him s sooner or later. And then there's this douche. Uh, you and your bloody... I am going to kick Kakarot's ass if it's the last thing I do, and... It just isn't going to happen. Like, god damn it. You were never destined to bloody kick his ass. First stop at Kami's Lookout. And there's Popo. And Piccolo's got himself a slightly new sprite. The cape's a lot wider. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good point. And of course, yeah. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe there's something around here. Now, I wonder if anybody notices the very slight little... I suppose, transparency little thing that Gohan's standing right next to. If you do, then, like, if you've played this through this game, you'll know what it is. Yeah, it's a secret chest. And it unveils a Z Fighter exhibit. Which is actually quite awesome. Now, I believe... Ah, oh, the flight pads aren't there. There's a Usually there's uh, flight pads on either side of the uh, lookout that take you down to Corrin Tower. But... But we don't need to do it. But of course, there's really no need to go down to Corrin Tower. I uh, could go do that submarine. Not really feeling like it. Uh, okay, screw it up. I mean, this submarine's not too far away, so I might as well do it. A little bit of grinding doesn't hurt. Uh oh. And you got one of those big guys on board. Die. Drop dead. Alright, oh, sweet. Bugger all experience out of that, and bugger all money, either. Alright, now that's done and dusted, we head down to Rochi's Island, tell these douchebags what's going on. Ugh, yeah, fair enough. You're a family guy. I don't think it's very lucky that th Yeah, no, bad idea. At least you have a better, uh, picture, at least you have a better, like, picture when you speak. That, that one in the first game was just, oh my god, it's so bad. Oh yeah, there's this thing. If you find these piers, you can go fishing. And the fishing's actually pretty good, because... Yeah, you can get, you can get fish. You take the fish to, uh, Corrin, and he'll give you money for them. And if you get a red hair, if you get a red herrings, red herrings or something like that, yeah, like if yeah, if you get red herrings, uh, he gives you uh, holy waters or sacred water, but there you know what I mean. And they give, and it gives you like invulnerability for thirty seconds or something like that. It's not too bad. Hey, look. Uh, and she's going crazy. PhD. The P yeah, because there's only one. Because there can only be one PhD in the world. The PhD. And now she's gonna. And now she's just gonna keep going on a tangent about PhD. So yeah, now I get to go and train with Goten. Uh, why? Twenty-four hours in the uh, yeah, yeah. So now, now work this out. There's a that just happened. There's a whole bunch of training. Oh yeah, here we go. Got to show this one off. Yeah. So, uh, what this is? See, so, yeah, what this is? This is just a uh, plot point for something in the future. Just a bit of, I suppose, foreshadowing, maybe. That cleanses the souls, like in the other world. But of course, they do get dirty, and when they get dirty, they explode, and that happens. And Goku was the best shot at bloody kicking their ass. 
but of course PyCon's going to have to deal with that. Yeah. And PyCon's stuck having to deal with it because Goku's already pissed off. And we're in Chapter 3. I didn't even know we went to Chapter 2. Actually, wait, yeah, we went to Chapter 2 in the first segment. I guess I'm a moron. Yeah, I must be a moron. Yeah, he does, because we just got to walk around and do pointless crap. So we head down here, and for no adequately explored reason, this entire forest is filled with goons. And they're not, and they're not even that far outside your house. It's like, seriously, could you have picked a worse place to train? But what would you pick? The criminals that hold guns and shit, or the animals that are infected with the holy water? With the, with the, with the, with the black water. No, the holy water cures that. Quit punt, quit blocking, dude. Alright. I think, I think I want to get to 70. I think, I, th I think I've got to get through, I think I've got to bust my way through a, a gate. Yeah, okay, it's 65. So I could just walk straight in there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a bit more grinding because there's a few little, because I'm pretty sure there's a couple areas that I can visit that are somewhat interesting. Uh... I know there's some place where, like, there's a tree and something, and you look behind the tree, and it's got a secret in it. And I think it's a very distinctive tree as well. Whereabouts is it? Um, I think it's got, I think it's got, like, blue... Like, do blueberries grow on trees? I don't think they do. But the, yeah, but the tree, but, yeah, but all the trees are just solid green trees. The one I'm looking for has got like blue sort of flowers or some kind of blue fruit on it. And somewhere in here. Uh, yeah, there it is. Knock over these shenanigans. If we go around back. Uh, okay, we don't find anything. Hang on. Get, get rid of these guys. And there it is. Hercule exhibit behind the tree, behind the blue fruited tree, and he dropped a rice. He dropped a rice ball. Thank you. And he dropped some kind of item. That's an equipment item. I can tell you that much. And there is a chest. So, I guess we did find some pretty decent stuff. So, what's inside this chest? A reflective tunic. What in the world? Okay, let's have a look at this. Uh, reflective tunic. Reflective material resistant to energy attacks. Okay, and what's that? An amulet made of quartz. Fair enough. They don't seem. They don't appear to be anything I'm really interested in using. Uh, I could go to seventy, but I think. I think we're at the point where these guys are so incredibly easy to beat that I yeah, like I'm not getting anywhere near as much experience as I'd like. I'll just go through kill every and kill everybody that I see and then like if I get to level 69 then that'll be it'll be fine and dandy and we can make innuendos about it for all eternity. Either that or until he levels up again. So, yeah. For some reason, I feel like my commentary is failing in this segment. I haven't really been pointing out much in particular. This is the second segment I'm recording today on Monday. This is the one that's going up on Wednesday. I decided to do two segments on Monday just to ensure that I don't have to do any later on in... Hello. Wow, that's... Yeah. Level 140. That is probably something we're going to have to visit in the post-game, because... Yeah, we gotta... Because Gohan's not gonna be getting to 140 until... Like, right near the end of the game. And... That was cool. I punched him, saved, and then he dropped the coins. It's kinda like... All in one. All for one, one for all. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah. I think that takes you to Grandpa Gohan's house. I'm pretty sure there's like some kind of bonus thing if you go in there. 
like there was in uh, Legacy of Goku but I don't think it's anywhere near as remarkable. Like, not that it not that it was remarkable in Legacy of Goku 2, it was just a few capsules that increased your strength and endurance and shit like that. All of which I used on Hercule to actually make him not crap. And since I'm nearly at and since I nearly had that level up, I might as well just keep grinding. Quit blocking! God damn it! Wasting my time. Thank God, I actually. Ha Thank God, I don't have a YouTube time limit because. Eh. All right. Uh, one more should do the trick. Sweet. Now with that done, we level up our stats, and we lol because he's at 69. Okay. Now that that's done, we head on in and we have a chat with. Uh -huh. Okay. So, obligatory Super Saiyan transformation. Ah. Ow. God. Whoa. Ah, oh, damn it. Ow. You know, this, this is a waste of time. Actually, you know what? I know what I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop those I'm gonna drop those armbands and boots and boost my speed. And that still didn't do anything. Nice to know. God damn it. I usually never fail at this and now I never now I'm just never succeeding. Nice. Oh god. Come on. Damn it! I think you've got to, like, dodge ten rocks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank God. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is from the anime as well. Super strength. A Super Saiyan. Transform. It's like, OMG. What the crap. No, I can't say that that's a very particularly awesome photo, a picture, or whatever the hell there. A monster. Then we just beat him up. Yeah, we just beat our own brother up. It's just. raw. He's all like raw. Punch, 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 punch. Beat him up. Alright, that's done. Now, with the training all done and dusted, we proceed on to. Vegeta's training as a Super Saiyan. Go Super. And now Vegeta's just completely dumbfounded as well. It's hilarious. And he's just got the ferociously pissed off face. Yeah, he's just gonna yell in his face. And he's just gonna sit there with a smug look on his face. I'd love to see. I'd love. I'd just love to see that in real life. A kid just sitting there with a smug look in his face while his while his father's roaring in his face. That's hilarious. All right, here we go. Oh crap! What in the world? Why am I going so slow? Transform. Uh, I could have sworn I knew how to do this. And he's just going to jump around the joint. This is probably going to take the rest of this bloody segment. I apologize. This is a really bad segment for me. Oh, this is annoying. Oh god, yep. Alright, let's just wait. And I'll just run straight up and punch him. And... Ah, oh, damn it. Got him! And he gets smacked in the face. Okay. That wasn't too bad. And now he's pissed off, but... Vegeta's even more pissed off, because... Yeah, you just can't fuck with a face like that. 
Okay, now that that's done and dusted, the gravity's not going to be so much of a prick anymore. And we're good to go to the park. Okay. Yeah, we already knew that. Like, god damn it. But yeah, now we actually have access to trunks, which I believe you'd want to grind him up to maybe, I don't know, 65 or 70 or something like that. 60, I think, is a bit much. But yeah, go on, 69, wall. Anyways, uh... So I'm going to do that grinding off screen and get Gohan up to about maybe 70, 75. Trunks will probably go up to about 65 or 70. Um, so, yeah, something like that. All that grinding will be done off screen. Uh, I believe the next thing we can... I believe the next thing we have to do... Uh, let me just have a look at the world map. Uh, uh, let me... Let me save state. Uh, okay, we just have to go see Bulma when we're ready to go to the World Tournament. So, we're just going to do that grinding, and then, yeah. Next segment, we shall be heading on our way to the World Tournament. That'll probably take maybe a couple segments on its own. So, yeah, see you for that.